Hi guys, it's Bambi here. So if you have known, uh, I've been kind of been using the default webcam inside my laptop for like testing out VIM stuff. And I've been just kind of wondering what happens if I upgrade from 1080p which is inside my laptop to like a higher rate camera to like 4K or something like that. So I just want to test out the other day if like if the body movement smooth better, if like maybe the tracking the face better. So I'm not too sure. So let's test things out with the default um, webcam built inside my laptop. And by default, camera defaults for the faster versions, I believe. These ones are high calculations, um, positions. These ones are a lot lighter. So by default, um, for lighter version calculations is 1280p at 10 frames. Um, I suppose we can try that out first. And it takes some time to load, I suppose. And I can start moving my body slowly from side to side. And you kind of see having some issues, I suppose. Let's just, um, you set the position a little bit, so I'm right in the center, and I'm just gonna start turning a little bit. It's it's about half a second of delay between when I actually turn and not. But overall, you can tell I tell the face is actually pretty smooth, and the hair is kind of reacting reacting okay ish, I suppose. Moving backwards a little bit more, it's definitely slacking a little bit. If I close my eyes like halfway through, um. It kind of has some issues between the halfway points. So if I slowly start to close my eyes a little, it kind of has some trouble tracking it a little bit. But it's actually doing a lot better job than Lupet or something like that. So 10 frames per second, 12, 12 p is working okay. So let's go down a bit more and do something that's a bit more 30 frames per second and see if that's any changes. And we're going to go 1640 by 480s. I think that's the same ratio. I'm going to go tracking quality, high quality is always frame rates. And yes, let's go set that 30. Now let's go start. Give a moment to start. And you're gonna start moving my body around as it is. Look straight to the camera, reset the position. And there's much more delays in between the turn. I can go a bit faster now. But I still have the same bit of a delay and if I try to blink a bit more. I don't think it's as the closing of the eyes, the blinking is not as accurate as the other one. It kind of goes halfway point or lower when that's not really supposed to. Or it's fully closed when my eyes are not fully closed. Though. So going down resolution seems to go a little bit inaccurate or something like that. But it doesn't seem to matter really much. But the extra frame rate does make everything a lot easier and the hair seems to function a bit better as well. But honestly though, it seems functional. So if I nod my head right now. You can see the character is not in the head. This is pretty neat. So next test, let's go down a bit more and let's go down to maybe one of the lowest solutions. Maybe 12, uh, 320 by 240. Let's just simply set that. 30 frames a second again. High settings. So let's simply start again and I wonder if the loading time is a bit faster, but it doesn't really seem to be. If I turn around and yeah, it feels jitted. Honestly, I don't feel like the characters and the resolution is able to capture my body all that well. Let's simply reset position again and let's test things out a bit slower. Moving the body from one plane to another. Yep, it's definitely not capturing the information as well. And if I blink. The blinking is actually work fine actually. Um, there's not much to be a deal. So finally though, I just want to test out the lowest of the low. 16, uh, 160 by 120, 30 frames per second. Let's simply start that again. And the thing I really want to have with this low resolution is hoping for just a faster load time. We just think I experienced a little bit there, but not with something really noticeable at all. I'm turning and it seems to be tracking pretty well. Full blinks work perfectly fine. Though they sometimes definitely accidental ones. And even half blinks are actually somewhat functional. Though it doesn't able to keep the positions that well, the program doesn't seem to be sure of what's happening. Going to the next step, we're gonna probably gonna change algorithms a little bit to the MJPEG slow. So this allows us for 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second. Though it does require a bit more processing power though, though I never really realized that on my computer. It seems about the same. But apparently this one have slow for some reason and I don't really notice it, honestly. It seems that the reaction time can be a bit longer than it's supposed to, or 30 frames per second as expected. But honestly, with the increase in quality and the smoothness of it, I think like this one is a lot more worth it. So this is 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second using the default webcam. Still on that. <laughs> so let's move on to higher frame rates to see if there's any difference. So in short answers, though, it seems like the, um, if you have a decent computer, maybe just go for 
something like this down here which is a bit much longer to process but it seems to the quality seems to be very worth it so let's switch up a little bit to use the usb 5m this is 4k and yeah by default <laughs> um it allows for 2920 by 12 whatever that is at two frames per second so let's let's see if they try that at the camera defaults and let's give it a try i suppose get load the time a little bit and give it five hours maybe two hours work you just never notice this it definitely is seem to, to look, take a much longer time to load though i am actually turning my face right now just slowly turning everything and yeah it's just not to be connected and it's morning someone is morning Yep, and it's having a really hard time to like keeping up with all the information that's going on. Two frames per second, there's a lot of infos on what's happening in the inside. Though, if I had to say though. Yep, the facial capture is definitely smooth. <laughs> Like the spatial expressions is poor, and it's like everything is reacting pretty nicely. But enough of that, though, we probably just want to go to the higher frame rate, higher frame right now. So let's go jump down to the MPJ ones because other other ones I think was two frames per second or like maybe six frames per second. So let's continue onwards a little bit more. So yeah, let's move into slow, and the first one we're gonna get is this one. So let's go to try the, the previous resolution at 30 frames per second, and we're gonna set the frame rate to 30. Uh, quality stay on high microphone and it's default and let's start this again and see how long it takes to approximately calibrate we have tr or 16 and we're in so this is actually seems to be a lot faster and i don't know why <laughs> so let's move my head around a bit and see how everything's going something that's what that i don't like though about higher frame rate it does seems like the tracking of the eyes doesn't seem to be as accurate as it used to be i'm not sure it's because the frame rate is too high for the comp for our current camera to process but it seems like the middle of uh, the mid eye opening doesn't really able to keep up the well as I do right now and uh, yeah it seems to have a bit of trouble keeping the eye in the middle who knows though but I still move around the room it's definitely smooth and it feels this feels like a bit more of 10 ADP I suppose um I don't think it's really worth it honestly this opening testing on my eyes uh, my mouth right now just doing the oh sheep definitely taking a half a second there to react but I know that I feel like the tooting is a little bit more accurate but better say though let's try diff let's try using the 4k resolution but decrease down a little bit of a half of the frame rates let's go back here again and let's try setting out frame rates to about maybe 20 or so I feel like 20 might be a pretty, good, pretty good number so let's start again and maybe a, a bit just a bit of time since last time it probably seems to start reacting over again yeah it's pretty neat Oh yeah, it's definitely really accurate. Um, let's move around. It feels very smooth. No, honestly, it's like 1080p. And let's go down a little bit more, I suppose. And let's try to find maybe a sweeter spot. Maybe this kind of stuff to work in. So let's go down a bit. Maybe the 2448. And let's simply choose 200 again. And let's simply say start. How's it going? I should like to frame I think a lot more than the previous one. The other one's really short. I think things like the amount of information coming in might be too much of overload for the current program to handle. And I think the the previous one to hair was definitely like pushing it a little bit and like it failed to capture a lot of movements. And I think the frames wasn't really keeping up with it all that well. So yeah, I think going down a little bit seems to be a lot better option. Let's try let's try the half eye closing. Not as good as the, uh, the 1080p one, but definitely still better than the previous 4K one. So let's try going down a little bit more and increasing frame rates a bit, up a bit. Let's go to that to 30 frames per second though. Is this doesn't any difference at all from default webcam? Otherwise, this is going to be a pretty damn journey. So let's do that really quickly. Um, just spinning around a little bit. First thing noticing, there is a bit of stutter. Um, And so it's gone. That's neat. I'm using a lot larger movements now, going backwards and forwards at the same time. And so it's actually pretty nice to start tracking me. Oh, this pretty dark well. There's virtually no latency at all. Um, 
So you could see the decrease in resolution definitely helped with that. Alright then, so like final verdict. So should you really upgrade a webcam from like the default laptop that it came with? Maybe. 2K, 2K though seems like a really good option for both performance and also um, frame rates. For a better, for a better webcam, you seem to able, able to get more accurate expressions. So like halfway closing the eyes and like speaking the mouth a bit. Opening up your mouth and display right in front of the camera seems to work a lot better than maybe using something from your built-in uh, laptop. And also having a laptop around, it's blowing air around, most likely being pretty powerful and using a lot of power. It's not exactly pleasant to, for the microphone to hear. So yeah, why not? If but if you'd ask me though the difference between a 1080p camera webcam to like a 4K camera webcam for like VC face, it doesn't seem like it matters all that much. They perform kind of similar and really doesn't change the performance or the result of the world. So yeah, hi guys. So, so yeah, lastly though, the thing I want to mention lastly is probably just deal with the experimental feature. So if you notice, just go to settings, just go to settings, and just go to experimental expressions. What that basically allows you to do is just change the expressions of your characters based off your facial expressions. So you can record for like sorrow or something like that and just do a so sorrow expression I'm doing the sorrow expression right now and you simply said stop recording and that would be like the information they were used like if you set if your facial expression is that way on your actual face it will just change your character expression to that um shape key as well so simply hit calibrate and it will load the data in there so if I do sorrow right now so you see there's like yeah the, the mount is going down which is like key if I go surprise And kind of does it, I suppose, but by, by, by default, it does a really good job of just detecting how large your mouth is, how what kind of expressions you want. So it wouldn't really mess with this kind of thing. And, she, and if you're wondering, I'm using 4K right now, and it's like, working a lot better than 1080p. So if you really want to test out like uh, experimental expressions, like it's be unstable, honestly. So if you want to say angry, and you go to happy, hey, <laughs> and you go back to happy. And it just kind of does fine, really, but see, sometimes it gets stuck in transfer, transfer in between those two. So it's kind of this kind of um, setting is kind of like wonky at the moment, and really won't, wouldn't recommend anyone to try out or use it that much, really. Uh, but it's, it's a cool feature. If you want to, you, if you're interested in it, I would definitely recommend a, a webcam update. So that's pretty neat.